All right, thanks. Pete covering schools now. Our local coverage continues on the first week of school this year. Many cities and towns started school today, including Providence. It was also the first day many of that district students used their RIPTA bus pass to get to school. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yacono has more from Providence. There is change in the Providence schools this year because students spoke up saying they had walked enough and they needed more help getting to class. If you travel around Kennedy Plaza, you'll likely see some more high school students hopping a ride on a RIPTA bus. After classical high school sophomore Natalia Rossi showed city leaders her nearly three-mile walk to school last spring, school and city officials took notice. The walk uh, radius for high school at three miles was just way too far. Now, high school students living within two and a half miles of their school get a free rip to pass. The change means 900 more students get a ride instead of walking, sometimes through the most inclement weather. It had been three miles for a very long time, really years and years. Um, however, it's still too far, and I'm glad we're working to address it. But the change comes with a nearly half million dollar price tag. As Superintendent Susan Lucy and Mayor and Gubernatorial Candidate Angel Tavares started this school year at the bus lot, I asked about the already tight budget. The mayor says the city wants to do everything it can to increase attendance. We've had to focus on uh, making sure that uh, we're able to provide uh, those passes, uh, but at the same time that means that we have uh, less money for other things, but you do the best that you can. The superintendent tells me she wants to change that radius even further from two and a half miles to two miles to help even more students. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News. And remember to check out WPRI.com for extended back to school coverage, including public school calendars, immunization requirements, and also bus routes. You can always count on Eyewitness News this morning to bring you the bus stop forecast and jam cam traffic so you can plan your day.